This man had a big secret. Now that he passed away, many people are benefiting. What? How? Hi friends! I'm Newsman Stan! Today is Sunday, November 26, 2023, and this is the news. You're not going to believe what's in today's newspaper. How many of you love receiving gifts? Yeah! Well, in today's New York Times newspaper, we learn about Jeff. Jeff had a big secret. For most of the last 80 years, Jeff lived in a small town called Hinsdale in the state of New Hampshire. Jeff was quiet. He had few friends, and none of his family lived close by. People would see him sitting near Route 119, watching the traffic go by, or riding his mower. But that's pretty much all they knew about him. So what was Jeff's big secret? He made a lot of money. You'd never know he was rich by observing the way he lived. He didn't have a big house, or a fancy car, and while he had good jobs, none paid him enough to become rich. So how did he make so much money? He lived a simple life, not spending more money than he needed to. He invested his money carefully, and he was fortunate that the things he invested in became more valuable. And so, the amount of money he had kept going up. What happened to the money when he recently died? He gave all the money to help the people of the town he lived in. He left instructions saying that the money should be used to help pay for town programs that provide health, education, recreation, and cultural benefits to the residents of Hinsdale. That means the money would go to most anything that would help improve the lives of the people in his town. Wow! What an incredibly generous decision. What's the most amazing thing about this story? Jeff donated his money without any desire for recognition. Even his best friend couldn't believe the news about Jeff's generous gift. But he wasn't surprised. He often saw Jeff reading the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, and Forbes. A great model of modesty and generosity for all of us. Well, that's it for me for today. And remember, friends, it's a complicated world out there. But there's always some safe news in every daily newspaper. And I'm here to help you find it. And I hope you subscribe and join us. Make it a great day, and I'll see you next time.